Evening all. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Tonight is the first round of season nine. Here with tier three. Uh, comms tonight will be myself, Claire Mull, and I will be joined by Dan shortly. Uh, looks like we've just got 18 drivers in so far, but a few new drivers this season. Uh, a few mu movements, so Kane, Ashik have uh, moved up after the season-long battle for the championship. Uh, just looking at the comments there, Steve said, all dry. <laughs> Stingray says, I'm ready for this new season to new disappointment for Mercedes. Uh, yeah. I think the bad luck just follows us, though, doesn't it? It's a shame the... Uh, He's not getting that much support. But first person on the lap here is Full Send Dave. Uh, not a Ferrari driver this season, so I can say what I like. <laughs> but I'll just give a shout out to uh, the new drivers that will be taking part in tier three this season so debuts for well full-time debut for hardy and pint size geezer as well hardy in the mclaren pint size in the Haas. rest of the guys have already been in full time seats, got a couple of reserves in tonight as well Irway's 90 is a reserve he's new to the league as well so it'll definitely be interesting to see how, how these lads get on uh, as long as Ferrari win I'm happy Gamefuls tuning in as well, cheering on the Alfa Romeo lads. As Dave just coming through the start of Sector 3 now, just two corners left to go. He's not made a mess of it yet. Nice and tidy there, fruit final corner, across the line. 105.4 is the first lap on the board. Uh, quickly replaced by Scotty, but very close. Scotty is on the medium tyres, though. We'll just have a quick tyre check. Uh, Scotty, Wookie, Hardy, Chris, and Hound on the mediums. Uh, you may have just seen, we've had a new guy join in there as well. That's uh, Kaz, he's just been trialled tonight, so this will be his, his debut here as well. See, Chris is definitely not going to be challenging for Paul with that lap time. Bark, a 105-1. Nerf at 105.2 as well, so Nerf picking up pretty much where he left off last season. Let's see what Venom can manage now, two corners to go. Across the line, 105.8 puts himself P6. Also 106.2, so not a start he'd have wanted. Got T bag on a lap now. It's coming through the end of sector two, turn six. Oh, for Terry there getting out of the way. Uh, looks like we've got a McLaren though stationary in the pit lane. I think it's just reset to track. T-Bag manages a 105.6 up to P7. 
Yeah, so that will have been hard. It looked like he uh, got stuck in the pit lane, reset to track, and then potentially cut the line to get across. Jackie's invalidated his lap. Curly just going through sector three now. The <laughs> Stingway says, also, this is Bono. That lap was shit. Go again. <laughs> Curly across the line, 106.5. Saki's on another lap, but he's no ERS, so I don't really see him improving there. What's Jackie doing? Jackie's still on an invalidated lap. Taking it easy. So Chris has binned off them softs now and gone for, uh, eh, sorry, binned off the mediums. Oh, Saki spun around that in sector two, turn six. Got Wookie on a lap on the mediums. Evening, Dave. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, comment there as well for Dave. What, just one from me to you. Forza Ferrari. Come on. Wookie now around the final corner. Matey boy improves massively though. 105 1. So Alpine looking strong in this Q1 session as Wookie manages a 106 1, puts himself P9. Jump on board with Jackie now as he comes across the line. Fuel light flashing. A 105 5. P7 for Jackie. Invalidated his first run, so I had to slow it down and go again. Uh, so them tyres would have been slightly worn. Jump on with Chris now, see what he can manage. Saying a purple sector two. As I think that's Jackie in sector two now, who's hit low fuel mod. Yeah, Chris managing a 105.9 there. Uh, we've got Hardy on another lap. He's gone for the mediums again. Um, Stingray asking if I'm alone. No, sir. Dan will be joining me shortly. He's just uh, on his on his way home from work. Ken Lowry, evening, lads. Feels wrong to be watching tier three. <laughs> uh, yeah, we did, we did tell you pretty much early days last season that get used to racing on a Friday, mate. Keep your Fridays free. Sky saying for the Ferrari is Nicky Lauda said shit box. Yeah, well I've never been a Nicky Lauda fan, so your comments are relevant. <laughs> but yeah, Alpine looking looking strong there. Good start from Alpine has also improves as well. Goes P4 with a 1053. Hardy 1056 puts himself P10. We'll jump on board with Hound in the Williams. Going for the mediums as well. One or five eight, so only P eleven for Hound. As Curly's just started a flying lap on the soft, so he got off them mediums. He's popped soft, so let's see how he improves. As matey boy says he's sober. Right, well, yeah, it makes a big difference, mate. Can you imagine? Last season. <laughs> Maybe you'd have been racing on Fridays again. Just five thousandths of a second separating the two Alpines, uh, matey and Bark at the P1 and P2.
Evening, Kaz. Thanks for tuning in, mate. Hope it goes well. So I say a big thank you as well. 18 viewers on stream at the moment. So great start for round one here. Curly now up to the line. Improves by seven tenths. Puts himself P12 or 105.8. Puts Wookie in that danger zone now. And Chris not too far ahead of Wookie. Both the Hassies out on track at the moment on an outlap. Jump on with Wookie. He's going to be the next to start a flying lap. Yo. Evening, Dan. Give me one second, I'm trying to check my audio. I'll be back here in about 30 seconds. Yes, sir. Audio is okay. <laughs> all good, all good. Uh, do we have a weather forecast? All dry. Oh. <laughs> But we are running approximate approximate weather this this season, so it'd be interesting to see what the percentage of rain is. Anyone yeah. who's in the pits, if you can give us a shout, it does give you a percentage chance of rain. I suppose with that with that new system, Claire, I think it's it's very much unknown for for certainly people that don't race in other uh, leagues, and we do have a a large contingent of drivers that only race here, so it it, it is kind of a a dip into the unknown. From what I've, from what I have done, I think in around 20, 30 percent is kind of touch and go. Anything above that, it's very likely. But yeah, it just adds that bit of uh, yeah. Scott is just spice. said 20 percent. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's probably fine. It just adds that bit of spice, and it was a good suggestion from Tiksaki and Andy suggested us to be honest. But yeah, just ma makes it a bit interesting. Yeah, Wookie improving fairly fairly largely though 1055 puts himself p8 so chris is now in that danger zone uh we've got jackie on another run and pint size pint size just slightly over his time though jackie didn't see his sector one split but he's not got his ers on so i don't really see him improving whether he's going yeah. for a burn or lap just had a bit of a brainwave there actually wait with <laughs> With the with the weather set to approximate, it kind of covers our asses as well. If, if the weather ends up not being the way it should be, <laughs> <laughs> ah well, it's what it is. Yeah, uh, well, it says approximate, so you can't trust it. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? I'd be interested to see how this tier plays out uh, this season. A couple of new drivers in. Um, it's it's I think potentially it could be the first season in in three seasons. Where we didn't have a runaway winner, uh, Kane Lowry, Gainfield, and Carroll uh, winning the last three. I don't see anybody steaming off. Um, I see pace here. I, I do see pace in this tier. I do see a lot of guys that I think will improve, but I do see mistakes also. So that's absolutely. I think. I think just on paper, looking at it and what we know from previous seasons, uh, I think you you look at Jackie, Scotty, Bark. The, to me, they're probably the fastest lads in here, but they're also inconsistent. Yeah, look at that laugh from Matey Boy, part four driver. Well, so... this is this is what I was going to say to you, Matey Boy. I just want to point out, as commented, he is sober tonight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a, a, a sober part four Matey Boy is bad news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll have the lads sending beers round to his house soon. What did you? How did you find the race for Aiden Leaf? Uh, what do you think of the track itself? Uh, if no, I'm honest, no. it's a track. It's a track I've always, always sort of enjoyed. I think you know, being such a quick track, it, it comes at you fairly fast. Um, I, I, I love sector two, three. You know that section, uh, yeah. turn turn four to like turn nine. I think it's brilliant. Um, yeah, didn't do didn't do too bad. Uh, I took P4 on track, but I got a silly speeding in the pit lane penalty, so I dropped to P6. Um, but no, fairly fairly positive race, if I'm honest. Yeah, it's 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 not the most technical track in the world, but um, there's 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 two areas. You got that double left hander in sector two. Well, just the end of sector two, start yeah. sector three. Uh, that's the first one. If if you're slightly deep or slightly shallow, there you're in trouble. 
the second one the same if you catch the curve on the inside you are going round there is no question about it yeah uh, the eggs of curve can be fairly rocky uh, that that double right hander as well in sector three the last two corners so easy to go over there uh, on on the limit so although not really an overly technical track them them them, them sequence of corners can be tricky to navigate yeah definitely just want to point out jackie did improve as well 105 one puts himself p4 and kaz went for a second lap as well and improved puts himself p16 uh, we got a couple of guys making their debut as well that's kaz and airways uh Hadi's making his full-time uh debut in the tier I'm, I've done uh, all that. He's points his geezer, and you've done it already, so that's great. Uh, I'm, just, why is, I'm trying to figure out why Airways hasn't set a lap yet. Just two minutes to go in the session. It doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, not not too sure, if I'm honest. Not so sure. Um, I'm just, just looking at the comments. Oh, that matey boy saying, bring it on, all the beers. And Stingray asking for his address and what kind of beer he likes. <laughs> <clears throat> T-Bag was two tenths under at sector one, but six tenths over at sector two, so he's made a mistake there. And that, that'll be T-Bag done. That'll be... Oh, Luckman, Luckman's retired. Kaz is retired. Yeah. We've got an Aston Martin on track that's retired. Uh, Airways isn't going to get off. I, I, I have no idea why, why, why. Captain Einsight's just joined, so he'll be starting at the back. Yeah, unfortunately, if he was two minutes earlier, he'd have, he'd have, he'd have got a chance to get a lap out. Um, yeah, just... The story there, make sure your game's updated. One of the Aston Martins has retired on track, just just in case it's Kaz. Obviously, his first race here. We don't allow retirements on track. If you are going to retire, make sure it's in the pits, please. Uh, Curly coming up to turn four now. <laughs> Scott, he says, can we start a donation for matey? Uh, one beer can be one tenth slower a lap. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Like, matey boy's been here a long, long time. Um started in tier two always always has had pace but the consistency is usually all over the shop so if he can if he can turn his turn a bit of pace around there's no reason why he can't challenge uh for the for the title here again i, I this this title for me is so open uh yeah i think this may be one where where consistency is more important than pace i i agree with you i, I agree with you jackie is standing out to be honest in my head um, a couple of seasons ago, I wouldn't have said that. Always had the lap one pace, but uh, he was in the Alpha Tower with, with me season seven, and he got steady and he improved again last season. So I'm expecting a similar kind of improvement from him again this season. Yeah, definitely. He has, has been improving. Obviously, we, we had a few talks with him last season on the uh, on the podium, uh, in the podium interviews, and you know he, he has been working on his consistency and. He looks a hell of a lot better for, for it than he did, you know, a, a few seasons ago in the earlier seasons. Um, but it, your comments about Matey as well. I, obviously, he used to race on a Friday night. I've raced against Matey a lot, and he's always been a clean, solid driver. Um, it's just, as you say, that consistency that, that that's let him down in the past. And, uh, well, yeah, since he dropped to tier three, I think it's the, the, the alcohol that's let him down more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right for us on comms. That's probably what it is. He's hearing us crack Absolutely. beers, thinking he's going to match us. Yeah, and just looking there, there's there's about six tenths between first and fifteenth. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get that run off three anyway, <coughs> but still, it's it's still pretty tight. Top yeah. four yeah. in the one or five ones. That's mad. Yeah, five thousandths between first and second, both teammates as well. So have we got have we got another season where we've got teams a little bit wrong or <laughs> No, one's a drunk and the other fella's an arf bandit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. I don't know why you said that. I really don't know why you said that. Uh 
<laughs> I'll tell you what, Scotty, less than a quarter of a second off Paul on the medium tyres as well, so he's he's definitely got improvement there. Um, but unfortunately, end of Q1, we are losing Kaz, Pint Size Geezer, Saki, Hindsight and Erways. <laughs> so um just speaking to airways there it's his first race here uh he says he doesn't know any drivers just wants to start to the back to not cause any issues which still entitled to qualify but I can understand, I can understand, you, you're coming yeah. in against a lot of guys who are used to racing against each other and you you don't really know where you fit and I know I, myself when, when I did my trial here, I didn't really want to get in the way of anyone. Yeah absolutely, I, 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 can, I still remember my first ever race online and that was my thought process. Just stay out of the way. <laughs> yeah, that's it. If, if I'm not in an incident, if I'm no, nowhere near anyone, I'm not in any incidents. That's fine. <laughs> Have I mentioned I've only been reported twice? Oh no, three times. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, totally unfortunate that. So. <laughs> yeah, I think I, if I'm honest, I think I think my last last report against me was from Snitsy. The bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't remember. Miami last season while I was challenging for uh, not last season sorry season before challenging oh, yeah, for third in the championship yeah. yeah he messaged me saying uh, I'm sick of being hit from behind by drivers so I wanted to report it to make a you know make a point of it I was like yeah it's me I, you're not supposed to do that against me yeah watch straight from the grid take me him alone <laughs> that's Kira Mazda racing that season <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. I've got Kieran back in tier two this year, so yeah, it's going to be a long season. <laughs> Saying that, he DNF'd himself, disqualified himself from qualifying, and uh, DNF'd on the last lap of the race. So he does it himself. He doesn't need any help. Yeah, do you know what? It's it's. I, I'm hoping for a good clean race. We saw two uh, drastically different races by the way. Again, nothing. Nothing dark here or anything like that. Uh, just, just a few moments of madness. It's, it's one of the. It, it's a pretty high speed track. Um, the braking areas as well. Even turn three, it's an uphill braking zone. You, you think the uphill would stop you, but it, it doesn't. No. You tend to have a car ahead of you, which yeah. makes it worse. You get Things sucked like in. Yeah, and turn four then is downhill. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's one it's, we've we've seen all over the. Over the well, yeah, over the years, not just the seasons. Over the years, since we, since we, pretty much since you started the league, when we've been doing trials, we always tend to throw Austria in to see how people handle it, and that you see the same mistakes in that breaking zone all the time. Yeah, absolutely. There's just, just a couple of, <coughs> sorry, um, there's just a couple of tracks that that promote incidents. Not necessarily bad driving. They're just, they're just. By nature, generally incident prone. Um, Austria, Spa, Monza, they're just they like, just three off the top of my head. Where well, that's it. It, it. For me, the main one here is is like you said that into turn three and into turn four. That getting sucked in with DRS. You want to see how people handle it if they've got the awareness to know that they're carrying that over speed. And, uh, and, uh, and it's some of that comes up well, in the league for such a short lap. You have three DRS on so. It tends to keep the field very, very close. Where, where a mistake, you know, slightly outbreaking yourself, or you know, slight bit of understeer, slight There's bit of rear snap. It Red just Bull well off track issues. there at turn three. Yeah, I see that. I was going to say it's Bar, but sure, that's last season. Yeah, it's, it's Venom. Venom. Yeah, it's 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 this story again of thinking who's with who. Uh, Full time Dave was resolving in tier. Two on Friday night, uh, and Colin asked me, "Was he in his in? Was he in the same team as him? Because uh, they're teammates." So I said, "Yeah, because Dave is now in the Williams, and I thought Colin was in the Williams, but that was last season. So we're at the <laughs> take a couple of races to get used to everyone again." 
Yeah, well, I've already already said to Dave he's not in a Ferrari now, so we can give him as much shit as we want. Oh, yeah, absolutely. i tell you what. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no. I tell, I tell you what, <laughs> Scotty T bag and matey boy, they're very good lap times. In the one or fours. Yeah, you will see that with track evolution. Uh, guys will start creeping into the fours. Hard to call a pole team here. Um, it's just... Hardy a one or five one. Yeah, it is. It's one of them tracks, you know, any little mistake will cost you for the rest of the lap. Being such a short lap, it's hard to make that time back. Yeah, turn one here is, 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 is awful. Yeah, that can, that can make or break your lap, really. It's quite annoying because if they just took the sausage curb off the apex on the inside, it'd make it a, a, legitimate, air, a legitimate overtaking place, but with the nature of it if to avoid that sausage curb it's more or less impossible if two guys are going in there level you know or, or more or less level or you know the guy in the inside is significantly long side it's it's almost impossible to leave a car's width on the exit you're, you're going to shove the other car off which is why the stewards briefing outlined that ideally the move would want to be done i just want to say i am pretty sure friday night i went side by side through turn one with ken lowry i might be wrong oh, but yeah, we, look, we, you can I, do I remember on, on the exit, it sort of threw me left, but I'm counter-steering it and trying to leave that room. And we did we yeah. did both get through it. Yeah, you can you can do it. Like, there's no question, but if you try to do it over 30, 36 laps in a row, eventually you're going to misjudge it. And it's it's fine, fine, fine margins. And that's kind of, that's what I'm saying. If you want to try it, you can try it. You'll get away with it or you won't get away with it. Even two cars working together sometimes... Is it yeah, it's, it's an, yeah. Oh, which is why I'm saying if they just took the sausage curb out, you, you could you could take a, you could put half your car across it, which would then allow you to leave a, a car's width on the exit. I don't understand why it's there. To be honest, there is if you can get it absolutely perfect. There is a yeah. bit where you can sort of cut it, yeah. so that your you, your right tires are just over the sausage curb, so it doesn't unsettle the car too much. But to get it perfect. Yeah. Is is nigh on impossible, like it is, and then the, the traction of the <coughs> exit can be difficult as well. Just on the yeah. full send Dave, who sets a purple sector two. Yeah, almost three tenths under at sector one. Uh, over half a sector, second yeah, apologies, at sector apologies. two. Yeah, so purple sector one, purple sector two. Why didn't he stay on pad last season? Ford's a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> Invalidate. Invalidate. <laughs> <laughs> no one Cracking laugh. Cracking laugh for Full Send Dave. There's something... This is just not right. You know... Oh, Dave's out again in Q1 to... Dave sets the fastest lap within two weeks. <laughs> it's because he's not got me and you breathing down his neck now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, I'll be honest. I threatened had his family earlier, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, as yeah. nerfs just set a purple sector too as well yeah tracks out to ramp up now as well fuck the McLaren <coughs> you. You. Uh, do you know what I'm, this is I think the first time I'm ever going to say it I agree with mechanical I want uh, an anti-doping test on Dave <laughs> um you could try an anti-doping test, but I, I, I would try an anti-dope test. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or an anti-dope formula. <laughs> oh, uh, not an anti-dope, an anti-dope. <laughs> So many things I want to say. It's good to yeah. be back. Good to be back. <laughs> Tier 3, CDR, Sundays, 8 o'clock, Season 9. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hound and Nerf both improving. 105 flats. Uh, P6, fun. P7. <laughs> uh, full send, Dave. That was fun. Last season wasn't fun. No, it wasn't. Oh, it was literally... It was, it, was, it, it was one of two things. Oh, Dave's got a track limit penalty. Or... 
Oh, Chip Hazard is a five second for peeling the speed in the pit lane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dave's just it, Chip. <laughs> yeah, um, they're going. Dave's going backwards on track. <laughs> yeah, it was a. Uh, you know, it was a solid season. Just didn't work out. We we'll leave it at that. <laughs> so yeah, business end of the session. Got a couple of guys on track looking for that free air. A couple of guys waiting in the pits to maximise the track evolution. You can go out with. You'd want to be cutting it fine, but you can go out with a minute fifty left in the session. Uh, maybe a minute forty, but that's Cur probably curly too now. Far. Purple sector two, curly improving. Yeah, Dave, Scotty, T bag returning from the session. They think they've done enough. I hope track evolution bites you in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's curly one oh five six improves by almost half a second, but doesn't move up. Jacket, Jack, Jack yeah, ones, yeah, picking yeah. up a slipstream off his teammate ahead though. Clever there from Jackie. Wookie's improved. He were two tenths under at sector one, just less than a tenth and a half in sector two. It's a, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a, do you know what? For such a not technical track, it requires a hell of a lot of concentration. Yeah, it's it, it, it is one of them. It is one of them. Wookie improves a one oh five one seven one. Goes five thousandths ahead hardy. Puts himself P9. Got Lutman on a lap now, we'll jump on board with him. I think Lutman as well was probably for me a bit of an underdog for this season. Bit of a dark horse. He he showed some wow, know. what a lap from Bark. Who's the dark horse? We've spoke about Bark's pace. We've spoke about his inconsistency or whatever. But Lutman, for me, he he showed yeah. he showed glimpses of it last season. You know the pace and having consistency. Uh, it's a shame he's still running that number ninety-one though. <laughs> Are you joking? Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh god. Look, you can't defend the indefensible. So just change it. Yeah, <laughs> Luckman uh started off kinda of There you go, one oh four seven. Wow. Yeah, he, he struggled with the with, with getting the grip of the new game, but we saw in the last four or five races of the last season he he was back where he should be and, and rightly so a part one driver, uh definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well I'm just saying when we when I you know, I mentioned a couple of names earlier about pace. Uh, Lutman wasn't a name I considered, but I think he deserves to, to, to be mentioned in that with how he ended last season. Yeah, mechanical asking where did the solo red bull driver end up? I don't I don't get what that means. I don't know what you mean. Yeah. I'm sure he'll uh, comment again on the end yeah, so we got guys waiting in the pits. Kind of hard to see where the the exact cutoff is. Curly, crisp, crisp, uh, Chris and Venom are are kind of you would say they're a fair bit out of the way at the minute. Hadi and Asa Vasso aren't a million miles away. I think Chris's I, time was set on mediums. Yeah, if if I'm completely and utterly honest. I, yeah, I don't know what's safe and what's not safe. Um, Chris isn't slow. Venom's not slow. They could pull a second out of anywhere. Oh, I'd be going again. If I'm in a 105, I'd be, I'm, I'm certainly going again. And that's what I was just looking at. I'm thinking, matey boy, like just into the 104s. I, I think that's close, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. The other reserve is starting at the back. It's his first league race here, so he just wants to start at the back. Try and figure people out. Yeah, it, it, it's. Whoa! As Hardy. Also across the line, only improves to a 105 free. Hardy is in a wall. Yeah. And he's just sat there, not moving. He will. Into a wall as well, but, uh... He will be disqualified from the session if he doesn't move. And there you go, he is disqualified from the session. 
Yeah, absolutely ridiculous. Ah, uh, Forza Ferrari. <laughs> and that's it, that puts the Hardy no down in P15. Yeah, ridiculous. From P11, all he had to do was keep going. He'd have started P11 or P12, depending on the rest of the times. But yeah, as well as can't legislate for stupidity. I need to tell us how you really feel. <laughs> oh, my God, he's going to know how I really feel. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, you should have a chat with Dave, and you know what? You don't want to see, you know, diplomatic Dan is one thing, but you don't want to see the angry Dan. Angry Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Chris now coming up to final corner. It looks like a fairly good lap time he's improving oh didn't improve by as much as i thought though 1057 so chris is out i never thought i'd say this all our hopes lie on teabag now for ferrari curly not improving also slightly under his time at sector one ever so slightly but he's not got a lot of ers so i don't really see him improving through this sector now although it's not an ers sector maybe he might be all right Again, slightly under. He needs more than that. He needs 0.13. Yeah, touch and go. Whoa! That is also out of the session and validated at the last corner. Yeah, he would have been out anyway. A perfectly attempt behind Wookiee. Wookiee making it through. Yeah, so both Alpines, both Williams into Q3. Stingray, Stingray says calculated small break for Osso. Bike there setting the pace closely followed by Luckman. Uh, if I'm honest, you, your top 10 covered by less than half a second. That's close. Mighty close. Uh, but we are losing Osso, Venom, Curly, Chris and Hardy. Yeah, that's uh, under half a second covering the top 10. Also unlucky. I, I didn't catch what time he had. Um, but yeah, just invalidating the last card. I think he might just cut out then. Uh, yeah, it has. All good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also on that lap, he invalidated. He managed a 105-271. So he, he would have still oh, been okay. out. Yeah. Yeah, judging by the times there, uh, Q3, uh, particularly the last run, is going to be uh, back to classic Q3, I think. <laughs> or tier 3, sorry. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be an interesting one. Like I said, there's a couple of names in there that did one run and retired so be interesting to see what they're doing q3 see who's got the tires to go for multiple runs yeah apologies i was just uh, abusing heavy in the mclaren chat and I, I, i'm concentrating now again <laughs> <laughs> when i say abuse i mean encouraging in an yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah you know me i'm trying to bully the failure out that's, of him. that's like <laughs> You know, this is what I mean. You know, I try, I try. You you know, you've been in a team with me a lot. Like, there's things you can control and there's things you can't control. And one thing that drives me mental is, this is my lap time or that's my lap time. It's like, the lap time is the lap time. It it's irrelevant. You know what I mean? What can you control? Taking the fucking line instead of parking off the side of the track. 
you can control that. Don't, don't worry about the lap times. The lap times will figure themselves out. Like, there's very little you can do to shave a second off your lap time, you know. It, it is what it is. Don't be worried about lap times or, or, or pole times or anything like that. Just control the things you can control. Um, so that was a good place to, to start. I feel like everyone's getting a free damn talk here. That's not a damn talk. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, Toy, you're stealing my vape. Grow up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to Hedy. <laughs> oh, I got Scotty on the lap. Uh, uh, yeah. It'd be interesting, uh, interesting to know. A lot of guys retired there. I'd say a lot of these lads have, have uh, three sets of softs, which means you can get out early, get your lap in, go again. But I don't know, is there a massive benefit to that? If you go for that run, maybe around, you know, seven minutes left, you you probably have to stick with that time instead of waiting for the track evolution. So it just depends what, 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 the, what the drivers are thinking. This also says the damn talk I needed. Yeah. Just a handful of people that are just a lost cause. Also is one of them. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Hound yes. into the 104s. World's gone mad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Scotty with a 104.5. Two tenths lower than my time in Q3. And that was on my last run. So, there you go. Scotty's just one of these guys who, who who races better when there's no cars in front of him. <laughs> and he's <laughs> going to listen back, and I'm going to get a DM tomorrow saying, what did you mean by that? It's a fucking joke, all right? Don't take it serious. <laughs> <laughs> As Osho said, oh, dicks. I don't, I don't quite get it. Yeah, do you know what? After such a quality session, you got, you got a second between P1 on P7 already, so starting the ramp up, certainly, you know, no no question. Scotty, like, Sc Scotty's quick enough, you know, he, 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 he should be doing well, he should be doing well this season. I think a, a lot of the guys have been kind of maybe subdued, you know, they've had three seasons in a row where you just get the same guy smashing it every week, can be a bit demoralising. Um, but guys have got closer, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, as we've said a number of times, you you improve by racing faster, guys. And uh, you know, tier tier three is obviously we you've touched on multiple times. There's lads in tier three that do a job in tier two, and you know, hold their own in tier one as well. Yeah, absolutely. I was just looking Friday night. The tier two pole time would have got. P4 in, uh, in tier one, but uh, look, I, I've said this so many times, you know, at, at the higher end of, of tiers, the the, ma the major difference as to why you're tier one or two or two or three is race pace consistency. Anybody is capable. The, the vast majority is, is capable of banging the lap out of anywhere. I mean, there's there is there is certainly, I would say, in my opinion, no driver in any tier that's not capable of getting to Q3. Yeah. <laughs> Bear. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll just leave it there. Just leave it there. Yeah. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I stand by what he said. It is <laughs> a purple sector one. <laughs> you know what? To be to be to be fair. To be very fair, right? You got Curly, who's not the quickest in the world. He was here about three, uh, about four or five seasons ago uh, in tier three. He left, didn't think it was competitive enough for him. But you know what I keep saying to these fellas is the only way you'll improve is by racing with faster drivers. It brings you on. It's 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 proven. We have proved this theory so many times, especially with tier three. When you look at the progression of of a lot of guys who end up going up to two and one, 
Like no matter how slow you think you are, like this this league we have we have proven that we can make guys quicker. North Pack, as I'm just looking at him, a guy that couldn't get out of Q1 when he started, has a race win last season. It just that story repeats itself with so many drivers. You know, just just yeah. so many drivers. Absolutely, Hound having a race win myself. Obviously, you you were in my trial. Uh, you know, I don't think we had a tier that had fit me. We didn't have a tier was, slow enough. I can me. honestly say, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I'm a, I'm a big boy. You can say what you want. <laughs> it was the slowest I've ever came up against in a, in a in a in a trial. I like the thing is, you know, everybody look. Most people know when we trial, we don't care what pace we are. We'll fit you in. As long as you're clean, respectful, good racecraft, we really don't care what pace you are. Um, but people improve, people improve. There's just no question. And it's 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 just so many have done it uh, out of tier three in particular. Um, multiple guys went on to win tier one. One guy went on to win win tier one and then left because he didn't want to race pink eye. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Yeah, look, you got. Oh, Wookie look, invalidated the penultimate corner. Unlucky for him. Unlucky, Wookie. Unlucky, lucky. Luckman coming around now. Heading for the line. Can he improve? He definitely can. And that is a 104.719. Is that the exact same time he said in Q2? I think it's, it's similar. It was a seven. It, it was a, yeah, yeah. It was definitely a seven anyway. Yeah, the final runs will be uh will certainly be interesting. Again, do you know I don't know how you found it. it I found it's such a short lap. I couldn't get my tires up to temperature up to the correct temperature for for my hot lap. You know, definitely yep. sector one of my hot lap. The tires weren't prepared with it. Yeah. Which I suppose maybe that 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 initial burner lap probably could have helped a bit. I had the, I had the exact same same issue. And I considered doing a burner lap, and I thought I went against it, and then I invalidated my hot lap and thought, oh well, I'll use this yeah. as a burner lap. It, it was a bit chaotic as Nerf just dips into the one all fours there. So uh, North Pack for the first time in ever is using proper setups. I'm telling you now, North Pack will be a dark horse this season. I'm, I'm expecting him to do very well. Uh, don't don't you know, call your setups proper setups. But they're not mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, pink eyes, know, pink uh, eyes. Yeah, yeah, I forgot he was in your team. They're not his either. <laughs> uh, but you right. know, it's it's like just for instance, and I, I, I don't think he'd care. He, his setup, the last time we raced here, he he was like the rears were twenty two point something. Like, like two psi over where you should be. Yeah, like, yeah. you know thing, things like that that on quality you'll get away with, but over a race you're like, whoa, that's going to be really problematic. Yeah, just yeah. destroy your tires. And so, and the thing is, you know, obviously progression, especially with guys that aren't reported. It's as simple as that. As Jackie improves, but only slightly, doesn't actually move up a position. And I think that'll be Jackie Dunn as well. I don't. He's not going to have time to get round and get back in and out. Yeah, Dave is just coming out there and also I would think he only had one set. Surprised he didn't put a, a lap, a lap in on a, a banker lap in on a, on a U set. I always find it a bit handy having a banker lap just because I can see the delta. I know how I'm doing. Yeah, hundred percent, absolutely, absolutely. You you kind of know. All right, I need to, I need to put the foot down here. Or you know, yeah, I, just keep I'm it improved, smooth. Gonna, or yeah, yeah, you could, you, yeah, exactly, exactly. Like I'm doing well. I'm three tenths up. There's no need to wreck the lap. Yeah. Uh, I won't repeat Matey's comment. Uh, Dave did say I talk about putting pressure on myself. First run compromised. Second run invalidated. So it's not that he's not been out of the pits. Hound imp oh, he doesn't improve. He loses it all in sector three. Teabag two temps under at sector two. 
This will be close. A 104-3 teabag P1. Luckman has invalidated his lap, so that'll be Luckman done. Back is going again. What's what's his sector two split? Almost a tenth and a half under. There was no way T-Bag set that time with no traction. <laughs> Fozzer Ferrari. Back doesn't improve a 105 for that. So he will be starting P5 at best. Uh, having five seconds over, he's not improving. You got Dave just coming up to the penultimate corner now. Across the line, 1049. Uh, walk it across the line, 1049 as well. Uh, only people who can improve. No, Scotty. Scotty's the only one on a lap, and he's, he's not improving at sector two. Across the line, improves slightly, but not enough to, to knock T bag off there. So T bag takes the first pole of the season. Yeah. Mm. Hope he's not put them assists back, man. I've not been on board with any of it. I've not really seen. A, it's not something I could spot, but... He got to grips with it in Q2. Q1 was a bit of a struggle. Q2, it looks a lot better. Um, and then, yeah, pulled it out of the bag completely, Q3. And I will be back shortly. So yeah, confirmation there, teabag on pole, uh, followed by Scotty, Luckman, Mary, Bark, uh, Dave, Wookie, North, Hound and Jackie. Uh, six tenths, roughly just over six tenths uh, between P1 and P10, close session and yeah, as we head towards the race strategy screen, be interested to see what guys do here. Uh, could be a mixture of anything. The soft, yeah, you'd be looking at a two stopper with the soft, hard, medium, medium, hard. I would be surprised if I don't see everyone on. Well, not everyone. Most will be on mediums. I, I would suspect. So, as expected, most currently selecting the medium. You only got Jackie, Osso, and Kaz on the hards currently. Everybody else on the mediums, but that could change. I ain't giving away any secrets. The race director is there for everybody to see. So, yeah. <laughs> Chris picks the hards. Maybe boy picks the hards. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's, there's no whole pile into it. Some guys now switch it from the mediums to the hards. There is no whole pile in it. Um, yeah, running them hards. A, a, a badly timed safety car can 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 put you in a bit of trouble. But if you can hold on, it, it it's definitely it definitely come good for 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 your second stint and in the closing stages of the race. I am back. I want to. I want to as well. Actually, back T bag, because even in pre-season we did speak about it. He showed good one lap pace, but it was the race consistency on no traction he was struggling with. So, yeah, I, I, I still. He's, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, top nine starting on the mediums. Jackie Osso Venom. Chris, Hardy, Kaz, Sake and Hindsight going for the hards. <laughs> yeah, I see, I look like what I was kind of seeing this. Um, I don't think there's a massive difference in the mediums and the hards. Uh, if, 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 the thing is, with, the, with starting in the hards, you need to have the race pace to, to, to stick with it. Like, I can't start in Harris personally. I, I just don't have the pace. I'll be so far back by the time I get on to mediums. It will, I, will, I will see no benefit. Yeah, so I, I struggle with a warm-up myself. Yeah, people just need to think about what they're doing, uh, to be honest. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ooh, I'm going to go grab a beer while that... That must be the... F that fucking... Formation lap was faster than tea bags pulled in. We're, we're hanging about the. Oh, hindsight's left the session. I'll drop you an invite when I can. Just sent Captain another invite. Just waiting for the final guys now to pull up. Hardy, Saki both overshot the marks. But that's it now. Grid is formed. That's five lights. And away we go. Even though I'm looking from the very back of the grid. Teabag looks to have got a good start. Thought we were going three wide there behind him into yeah. turn one. Nothing stupid to be honest. I'm glad <laughs> did he, did he backed back out. Yeah, I think it was Matey who did back out. Lopman walking at the inside of Scotty. Oh, that's a Williams. That's full send Dave. That's a full Monza no, no, no moment. He's completely cut a corner there. I mean, you, you you post a comment in the chat asking me not to give you shit and he's do something like that. <laughs> oh, what is that so bad? Like, I'll tell you what, lad, if this if this race continues this way... Whoa. Yeah. I know it, yeah, it's not a great start. Not a great start at all. Um, yeah, you know, it, the, the, what we were talking about through quality. That, you know, turn three, you get sucked into that breaking zone. And, yeah. Lutman's half it going now. Is this going to be a wing change? Uh, Bart up Lutman there. That's, that's... Yeah, it is a wing that's change. Nice. Yeah, that's that's ruined Lutland's race as Wookie's just got Hound in turn three. Hound using a hell of a lot of ERS to stay with these guys at the front. Teabag's been yeah. burning a lot as well to try and pull away. Scotty behind him's got double the ERS that, that Teabag's got. Wookie doesn't look in a bad place with his ERS either. 95% up to P4 now. 
it's one of those where if you can just hang on for DRS, um, it's definitely helpful. Airways is dropping down. Oh, yeah, he's at a track. moment at turn six. Not sure if you have an issue there. I wasn't on board, I didn't catch that. There we go, DRS enabled Scotty within that DRS back. Two seconds behind Scotty, but has a bit of a DRS train behind him down to Matey Boy in P7. Uh, I think Matey got caught up in that incident with uh, Dave and Luckman as well. So he's he's dropped a number of positions. Matey now making it up past Nerf into turn three. They're now side by side on the run into four. Fourth with DRS activated as well. Ooh, Nerf hanging it around the outside, matey, trying to cut back up the inside. Yeah, do you know what? Going on the inside there, it's just so hard to get drive out of the yeah. corner for me. Yeah. The racing line is the outside line. There's more grip there. There's Dave and Jackie are battling as well, swapping positions through turn three, turn four, and again through seven. Scotty now all over the back of T bag. This DRS is helping him as well, not using Sadly his DRS. He is out. Yeah, lost at the final corner, it looks like. Yep. I don't think a safety car this early is, is going to do anything, to be honest with you. There'd be no way I'd be pitting anyway. No, it could potentially help Luckman out, obviously catching back was up. A v it was a VSC. Was it? Yeah. I didn't see anything pop up, just yellow flags. Oh, maybe it was. Sorry, apologies. I thought I, I, I thought it was a safety car. It's not a safety car. No, Marshall's uh, that good here. They know it's a short <laughs> track, so they, they they run overtime like they, they they rush. I think Colby will be happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just saw it pop up saying sack is left. My first thought was at least he didn't pit and quit. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's quite congested in the midfield fair. Yeah, it's one of them tracks. It's, it, when you get a DRS train, it's it's hard to break the DRS. You know, you you end up stuck in a group and you, you can't really move forward. Um, so like Dave, the 1.2 behind Jackie, but he's got five cars in that DRS behind him. As Wookiee's made it past back now into turn three. And mate, he's made it past home there as well. Bark's battling back now on the run into turn four. Yeah, the, 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 the traction is, uh, is is mental there. Oh, Captain doesn't have one beat. Oh, he does, and he just can't use it. Oh, he, he I did him. send him one. I did send him one while we were formed up on the grid waiting to start. Scotty looks like he's uh, just sitting behind T-Bag now using the DRS. They know they're pulling away from the guys behind. Um, Scotty's still in a good place with his ERS as well. Like, to be honest with you, if I'm, if I'm Scotty, unless I have real raw pace, I'm sticking behind T-Bag here. Keep my ERS. I know he's actually going for it. And he should get that done handy enough. No, he doesn't. Yeah, all he's going to do here is shove him back towards Wookie. Unless he has the pace, just stick behind, yeah. charge up, use your bat or use the RS save to gap the, the cars the behind. Yeah, I, neither of them have got DRS activated though. That's strange. <laughs> ne ne neither of them had DRS on. <laughs> They're running that uh, Red Bull wing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need it. Dave and Osso fighting. Also on the hard tires as well. Thought he was going for a move up the inside of six then. That's a risky one. Scotty's now dropping back. Scotty 1.2, 1.3 behind. 1.2. Yeah, he definitely needs to stay. Wookie's down to 1.3 though, so Scotty's lost a lot of time there in sector three on that lap. 
He definitely has. That might help T-Bag as well. Let it, give him a bit of breathing space to recover a bit of ERS. Uh, which I think he definitely needs. Venom and Curly fighting. Oh, Chris. Chris has spawned. Oh, Chris is off. Yeah. In turn one. Not sure exactly what happened there, but I didn't catch it. No, but all I want to say is the Ferrari up there is not the Ferrari expected to be up there. Come on, Chris. Sorry, though. <laughs> no cabin. It looks like we've got a bit of a DRS train of three cars now behind Osso, Hardy and Curly fighting. Hardy got, uh, sorry, Curly got past him and then Hardy ran wide. Looked like Venom got past him as well, but they know side by side coming into the penultimate corner. Oh, yeah, God. he was all like that. Um, yeah, I think there were a bit of a wheel bang there. Yeah, I thought it was going to happen. See a yellow it's... flag, is that Chris? Chris has spun again. Sorry, Chris, I'll stop talking about you now. And Kaz has pulled into the pits and retired. Don't know why, early on. Matey and Hound fighting. Side by side through turn four and five. Matey with the inside line at uh, sorry, Hound with the inside line at six. And seven and Hound keeps that position. Lovely driving there from them two. And um, we've got a McLaren, yellow flags in sector two, three. Is that Hardy? Yeah. I was on board, but I wasn't looking, to be honest. He's definitely had an issue there. He bogged down, certainly, because the engine dropped off. I was like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and Bark's got past Wookie and now got within DRS of Scotty. Scotty's still out of DRS of T-Bag as well. Uh, do, you know what I'm, do you know what I'm thinking, Clay? Has Scotty rinsed his tyres? Because mine started dropping off around lap eight, lap nine, and I, I was pushing her to stick with the cars ahead. But I don't... That's, I wouldn't say he's been pushing that hard. Like, you know, he's not burning ERS and nothing. Or he wasn't when he was, was behind T-Bag. He had that challenge with him into turn three and then dropped off. I don't know whether he's he's not picked up wing damage or anything. Has he lost an end plate or something? But it was after that. He made a move into turn three. It looked like they made a little bit of contact on the exit, but nothing nothing untoward. And then since then, he's he's dropped back. No, he's still got his end plates and everything. It's strange. Ooh, his mate has picked up a three-second penalty in his battle there with Hound. That won't help him. As uh, Terry has his... Trying to fuel the McLaren Ferrari rivalry. Also now making it past Dave. And Venom. Oh, going for a move up the inside of Curly, but backing out. Weren't quite close enough. Yeah, Scotty's falling back massively now from T Bag. And T Bag has been recharging the RS. Two seconds now, the gap. Why, why is Terrier's anti-McLaren? <laughs> uh, because he's on my team and I'm anti-you. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. <laughs> or not. <laughs> We're a team, we stick together, and you've got Kieran, so fuck you. <laughs> Come here. It was a random fucking draw and it wasn't by choice. <laughs> oh, we got Jackie into the pits. Well, I, I don't think he Whoa. meant to go into the pits. He's spun. He's on the hard tyre. He wouldn't have wanted to pit this early, yeah, but yeah. That's not good. If he, if he was on the mediums, he'd get away with it, but he, he definitely won't get away with it. No, he needs to pit again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Terry as I said, Kieran and Dan equals Anthony McLaren. Alright, fair enough. He said he feels sorry for Nerf. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel sorry for Terry or this is gonna be part one, tier one next season. <laughs> <laughs> as long as he's not in my team, I don't care. <laughs> that could be arranged. <laughs> Where did you need me to send the money to? <laughs> Mate, he's now uh, caught, caught Nerf as well with Indy, RS and Nerf. Yeah, after after showing a lot of promise in uh, in uh, in Quali, we had a, a Monza moment from Dave, followed by a track limit penalty. 13 seconds is, is going to be awful, especially if there's a safety car. Yeah. Last kind of seven, eight, nine laps to be desperate for him. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yes. Um, and it, the thing is, is I know we we're, we're making jokes about it, but I know Dave he'll he, he'll not be happy with himself at all. No, at no, no, no. Do you know what? Look again, we laugh and joke with banter. He's a good lad. It happens. It happens. Bark's got Scotty into turn four. Yeah. Scotty's trying to fight big, back. Big lock up from Bark, and this is bringing Wookie into it again. And the three of these battling is just suiting T-Bag down to the ground. Yeah, absolutely. Um, flawless drive from T-Bag so far, to be honest. Um, I, I, I thought, when he was using the RS so much at the start, I thought it was going to come back to bite him. I expected Scotty to get past him and just pull away, but it's uh, it's gone the opposite way somehow. Scotty, Scotty just falling backwards. Yeah, just looking at Jackie, he needs a couple of safety cars. Captain Hindsight is back in the session. Um, I was just going to send him another invite. I realised he yeah, sent me a message on Discord. Yeah, unfortunately for him, it's just one of them things. But again, a safety car brings a nothing race back in for him. So he's hoping for a bit of luck. Well, that's it. We've had uh, two DNFs in the first third of the race. So anything can happen for me. A Scotty it's, and Bark battling yeah, into turn it, three. It, it's hard. It's, it's a three-way here for, 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 for P2, three and four. And they're going out of the hair, but it, it looks clean, to be, to be fair. And again, it's just suiting T-Bag down to the ground. He's, all, he's three yeah, seconds ahead. Three no. seconds now. Not Supposed something we no not something we used to see him unless it's wet. But Scotty and Bark side by side all the way there through sector two. Which is fine if you can do it without contact, but there's an incredible amount of wheel banging going on. It's a non-contact sport. Um, yeah, it's it's hard to go too wide there. You you can do it, but look at the, look at the time of the car ahead. It just costs you so much time. Yeah, T bags uh, pulled over a problem. second in yeah. just that sector alone. Yeah. And as you say, Wookie's now right on the back of this. Now, it, me personally, if I'm Wookie, I'm looking at this going. I'm getting DRS from these two. I'm just going to sit here recharging. Let them two battle. Absolutely. Absolutely, fully agree with that. Just keep it in DRS, keep recharging, and like if that's me, I'm just hoping they take it to the roof. <laughs> exactly that, exactly that. Yeah. Sit there, use the DRS, recharge. Mm, yeah, oh. massive lock off and back into four. And yes. we'll go say by say it again. Three, five, into six. Scotty hanging it round the outside, gets a better run, takes the position. Their mediums are going to be hurting right now. Definitely. They're definitely going to be hurting. Yeah, absolutely. I'll tell you what, Nerf, Nerf's not in too bad a position either. Now, just dipping into DRS range of Wookie ahead of this battle for P2. Um, it, Wookie's got three guys behind him with penalties as well, or two within DRS that have got penalties. Yeah, he's going to get caught here and he has no ERS and he has no DRS. As maybe gets that moved on into turn three. Yeah, I, I and still, I, mate, he's still got DRS now from Wookie as well, so he's bridged that gap. I don't think guys realise how effective you are when you have under 20%. Oh, uh, he's got a yellow, yellow flag. Ooh, Is that Venom? Yeah, it is Venom. Not sure exactly what happened there, but we do have a yellow flag. We did have a yellow flag, and the yellow flag is now gone. He put his name into the hat and took it back out. 
<laughs> that old chestnut. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Terry, as mate. I'll just do a uh, tyre check for you now. Uh, top seven, all on mediums. Also, leader on uh, the fastest of the guys on hards at the moment. Dave Curly, mediums. Venom Hardy, hards. Chris and Hindsight both started on the hards as well. Uh, Whatman pitted lap one, but put a second set of mediums on. Yeah, home boxing two laps before the predicted. It'll be interesting to see where he comes out pitting from P7. Uh, the undercut could be strong here. It's a very, very sharp pit lane entrance and exit, to be fair. It, is mo it more or less follows the track. So it'd be interesting to see where home ends up. Oh, Bart's trying to go. Oh, Bart's trying to go around the outside. <laughs> uh, Scotty. Scotty just sort of holding him on the outside. The Bark ended up off track. Two wheels on the grass. As he gets the move done. I'll tell you what, the amount of side by side through here is is stressful. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'll it, tell you what, it's good to see. It because is, it, you, know, you know the, 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 yeah. it has been clean. It, you know, it's been clean enough. It's been a, a tough, hard battle. We've got a couple of guys pitting now. Scotty's in, mate is in. Yeah, I'd be very, very interested to see where home ends up here. As you say, under, undercut is powerful. It's it's powerful on this game anyway. Um, it so. is, but they could have potentially cut him off by coming in the next lap. Cold hards. Oh, goes from bad to worse from Dave. Five second penalty. No, he's at risk of being dis disqualified at this stage. Hound is going to catch on the back of these pretty soon, I'm, and he turns with the up temperature, so... I'm, I'm looking for advantage. Hound to see for the undercut and I'm on with the McLaren or Hardy and then realise that Hound's not in the McLaren anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's he's missed out. The guys on mediums have come out ahead of him. He, his tyres are up to temperature, but... Uh, yeah, I, He's closer to Scotty than yeah, he was. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. He, he is. He is. No question. No question, so... We'll Most do a quick, could, just to put everyone's, mi uh, everyone's mind at rest. Stingray going on about Oslo with a flashing fuel light. We'll have a flip through. There's no flashing fuel no. lights. We're all good. <laughs> uh, I got T-Bag Bart walking no. uh, into the pit. Yeah, no, it would be interesting to see where Hound is, and I don't think he's getting enough. See where Scotty as well. We're on board with Scotty. He's just got past Curly, who's stuck to the inside line for the pit lane. So good, good oh, driving there what, from Curly. Tell you what, this is going to be close. Oh, this going to blinder. I think Hold is going to blinder here. He's gained one position, but he's came out ahead of guys that were ahead of him. He's yeah, there's still bar. still three he's people to pit ahead of him as well. Yeah. So Hound yeah. is essentially P3. <laughs> yeah, well, great call from um, a Hound. He's, he's, uh, he's jumped back, Wookie and North in the pits. Scotty coming in the lap after has definitely helped him to cut off the potential undercut, which he did, but the rest haven't. So definitely interesting. Definitely interesting. And this is going to suit T-Bag down to the ground now because Scotty's on the back of three cars on old herds. So Yeah, it's going to hold him up even more. Scotty's side by side with Hardy. Oh, makes contact. Scotty's had a wobble. Oh, wow. That wasn't good at all. No, no. Hound's going for a move into the penultimate Whoa, corner on Scotty. Hound's gone insane. That is matey boy. And he does not Hound's have left space think... around the outside of Scotty. Hound's got the move done between the final two corners. Scotty's trying to come back at him into turn one. Oh, this is close. Yeah, can't call it. It feels like we're desynced at the moment. There's just so much going on. <laughs> <laughs> Game's fucked. <laughs> uh, yeah, Hound up into P4. Game is fucked. Oh, wait. No, Scotty's got him back. Scotty going the long way around the outside at turn three, but getting the move done. Hound's got DRS again this time, and he's using a lot of ERS, so that is going to cost him down the line but to be fair Scotty's used a lot of ERS as well defending he's down to 30% yeah do you know what great call from Hound to be honest Hound I just want to say he's currently net P2 I know he's he's yeah. got a, he's got a 3 second penalty as well 
his medium them hards will be he did box that bit earlier so towards the end of the stint he will feel the pressure but good call definitely as also is into the pits now Venom Venom is hanging out for another lap he, he, Venom is heading towards the territory now of I need a safety car yeah yeah definitely surprised not not to see a safety car so far we have had uh, well one DNF on track as Scotty makes it back past Hound they're on the back of Venom now as well so Scotty will have DRS this time round and Hound's now got more ERS than Scotty yeah but Scotty's rinsed he's down to 11 so that's going to be affecting him he does get past Venom who looks to break himself Hound up the inside and he gets through so Hound isn't in a bad position at all. Scotty's straight line speed would be massively affected by having no ERS. I tell you what, just stick with him. Wookie's looking quick and he's got 65% ERS. He's on two lap fresher tyres than Hound, one lap fresher than Scotty. I As, think, yeah, Venom is coming in. I think Wookie, oh, is he ran wide there? Wookie is... I don't know. I think he's going to be close to this uh, P2 battle, you know, by the end of it. Where's Lutman now? He is on the hard in P15. I'm just so watching on with some of the guys here and the amount of sausage they're taking. <laughs> The amount of sausage in the turn one is incredible. <laughs> There's copious amount of sausage being taken in the turn one. It's, it's ballsy. It's ballsy because if you get it wrong, wait, wait, it's, where's, it's where's really Where's Bart wrong. the Ass Bandit? <laughs> <sighs> oh, Christ. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, terms and conditions apply. The value of your investment may go up as well as though. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway. We've got a five way <laughs> battle for P two. Scotty, <laughs> Hound, Wookie, Bark and Nerf all within the RS. Hound the only one of them with a penalty as well, so very close here from second to six. Ooh, hindsight's like... hindsight's is that retained in the pits? Yeah it is. I know he just been lapped, he did he pulled aside to let the leaders through. As Chris is now into the pits. Back in one second, Rabbit. No worries. On oh, high side's car. Has left the pit lane and has stopped at the end of the pit lane, I believe. Bart just dropping out of. Oh, never mind. He's back in DRS. We've got a, a good five-way battle here now for P2. Bark again, just dipping outside that DRS, it's close. He's in and then out. Who's in the best position ERS wise? Oh, it's Bark, 70 odd percent ERS still. 
Wookie has made it past Hound as well, so Wookie now battling for P2. <laughs> yeah, as I said, Wookie, he now got up to P2 past Scotty. He, he was in a good position, but now I'm looking at the ERS of uh, Bark, 80 odd percent ERS. Is Bark just biding his time? Is he being sensible? It's very possible. Bide your time, be sensible, uh, keep your fires in check, and make a charge with three or four laps to go. And that's it, he knows Hound ahead of him's got a penalty, so he, he'll jump Hound. He just doesn't want to let the lads ahead go. Oh, oh we've got a half. Oh. Yeah, pint size. Yeah, he's got over the wall, so that shouldn't cause any issues in terms of safety or a VSC. Scotty back past Wookie on the run into turn three. Dave picks up a three second penalty, another one. Barks past Hound. Yeah, Dave is running the risk this of uh, a disqualification here now at this stage, I think. There's too much fucking going on here for me. Osso and Dave yeah. side by side into turn three. Incredibly Osso. late move from Wookie into turn four. Uh, yeah, get to soft enough, but all he's done is cast himself time there. It's just, do you know what? Just oh, be a Nerf's round. Oh. Nerf spun. No. He's fortunate, obviously, the gap that he had, he's, he's not lost a position, but he's got matey boy all over, oh, he's, I think he's just let matey through. Yeah, no, no. But matey oh, now has a one yellow one. fuel light. Oh, yeah, if you've got a yellow fuel light with 10 laps to go, you're in trouble. Definitely. As Wookie now goes past Scotty into turn three again. Uh, Hound's getting Scotty. Uh, sorry, not Hound. Bark. Bark's getting Scotty. Is Bark pushing now? On, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Is. Yeah. Bark's pushed a little bit now. Took Wookie and Scotty between turn three and four. That was clinical to Bark, to be honest with you. Just sat back. Let him battle. Let him battle. Save your tires. Save your ass. Bang. Deploy. Overtake. If he can just bridge that DRS, no, he's laughing. Well, that's it. Yeah, Bark's, Bark's at 50-odd percent ERS, where you've got Scotty at 14, Wookie at 38, Hound at 20, 22. It's a shame for Nerf. He were doing well sitting on the back of this pack, this battle for second. Jackie's a back marker, so he needs to get out of the way fairly lively here, or else pull a gap within one sector, which he's not doing, and he's impacting the cars behind now as well. Oh, as Chris picks up three seconds. Yeah, Jackie is on the softs as well, brand new softs. Yeah, he, sh he should pull away fairly, fairly quickly, to be fair. Well, you, you have to do it fairly quickly, otherwise the game does screw you for it. He's not doing it quickly enough for me. Bark is definitely in turbulent there, which will affect his downforce. But yeah, he might. Will he still get DRS here though, Bark? Yeah, he will. Bark, he will. Yeah, he will. And that's that's gonna, you know what? That's gonna help him. Scotty's not has. all the DRS. Yeah. So that's game ball. As Scotty's absolutely rinsed. Again, do people not realise the effect on the car when you have no ERS? <laughs> Obviously not. The tendency is to push the button, but the button is making you slower. Fact. <laughs> Apologies, I've got the cat in my face. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
But yeah, Scotty know well out of that that DRS to uh, Bart. Bart no looking comfortable in that P2. <coughs> it's just about what Wookie can do now. Wookie's got double the ERS that that Scotty does. Yeah, I've been in my head. He's having a, a legal battle as well. Venom is the current holder of the fastest lap. Um, oh, his mate he picks up another three second penalty. Yeah, you'd imagine Jackie take that fairly, uh, fairly easy. Yeah, Jackie and Irway is both with softs on. Jackie's now done two laps and is he's not set a fastest lap yet, so it'll be interesting yeah, to see. He's deploying heavy here, so. I don't get oh, do so that. three seconds. Also, doesn't also. Yeah, back, back's pulling away now. Two and a half seconds. Yeah, uh, Scotty and Wookie are battling as well, so that's definitely going to help him. Yeah, definitely. And they've, uh, they've both pulled away from Hound as well. Hound's just slowly dropped off the back of them over the last few laps now. Two and a half seconds behind. He does have a penalty, but everyone behind him has a penalty as well, so he should should be safe for that position. And I think that's probably what's, what's on his mind at the moment is P5's probably not too bad. Um... You know, race race one of the season, top five, brilliant result. We got Venom and Hardy very close to the back of Dave. Dave, who's got about sixty-eight seconds worth of penalties. <laughs> yeah, do you know what the gap that Bark has pulled is? incredible uh, he's bridging that gap to T-Bag I know obviously T-Bag's probably taking it a bit easy now but he's he's pulled in over a second to T-Bag since he got past Scotty yeah, I suppose it, it's hard not to look anywhere but the battle for that final boarding position at this point yeah I was on board with the board. battle with Venom Dave and Hardy but yeah, as you say Scotty and Wookie both swapping positions here yeah that's what oh Dave is in the barrier He's out of the barrier. And that um, hard is with deep. him as well. <laughs> I can just I can feel your disappointment. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Neither of them are Ferrari drivers, I'm I'm happy. <laughs> As Wookie's now past Scotty, Scotty's trying to go around the outside of turn three again, this side by side again. Scotty's got DRS this time. No, he's not. Neither of them have got DRS. Why does this keep happening? Are they going through the, the detection zone bang on level or what? Yeah, that's a good question. It's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time it's happened. Neither of yeah. them have DRS. It's ridiculous. One of them has to have it. Uh, unless the game's seeing the, you know, the sector split at zero and just not giving either of them it. <laughs> yeah, they're pushing hard all four laps to go. If I'm like, if I'm lucky, I'm just stay behind them. Just stay behind them. Stay close. Stay close. Recharge. Make your move on the last lap. You'll have them. Last lap. Three, three DRS zones. More ERS. Smash it. Exactly. You can see Scotty's red light is flashing as Wookie is deploying again. This is just lack of. It, uh, it's a race cubeless. craft, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Smart. Just being smart. Race IQ. Literally, like, you can't see anything beyond the car ahead of you. You have to think long game. Yeah, I got, I got into a similar sort of battle towards the end of uh, Friday night in Tier 2 myself. Last few laps, you know, we were we were side by side swapping positions, and then I realised that I might as well just sit behind them. I was deactivating DRS early to not go ahead of them or whatever, not challenge them in a braking zone. Sat behind them, recharged a bit, and then on the last lap, I crossed the line in P4. Not like I say, I had a penalty, but 
I, I went from P6 to P4 in the last few laps just from sitting behind and just waiting to, to push. Yeah, there's a nice little battle going on between Northpac and Matey Boy here as well. Again, North just needs to be cute. Car behind him is two and a half sec is two and a half seconds behind. Just sit behind, recharge. He's gonna to have to deploy on the straight and pick the pick the correct time to make the move. Yeah, you mate, what, he's this, still this, got that this, yellow fuel light. This battle between Scotty and Wookie is is mint. Bit of wheel bang going on, but it looks pretty pretty fair to be honest. Yeah, it's they they both giving as they get in. Uh, I don't, if I'm honest, I don't think there'll be any complaints from either driver. I think they're both enjoying this. Um, and if I'm honest, it's I've not seen anything that's that you look at and go, hold on a minute, that's out of order. It, you yeah, know, I it's, agree. it's just it's just hard racing. It's close, hard racing. It's 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 quite impressive. <laughs> Definitely, it just takes that one mistake for it all in the tears. And Northpac take P3. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it now we're coming up to the business end two laps to go it doesn't look like either of them are listening to us no one's recharging the RS they're both just pushing every lap ah hold on mate boy has six seconds North Pack doesn't need to do anything really just stay where he is Yeah, he's Hound, how many seconds has Hound got? Is it just three? Oh, we got oh. yellow flags that hardy. Yeah. Final corner, yeah. I couldn't even call a driver of the day, to be completely and utterly honest with you. Uh, we've had all sorts of, like, you, you, obviously, T-Bag's been absolutely flawless. I know you're not happy about the uh, changing so assist. Well, it, it, it's it, it, kind of leaning towards Bark, if I'm honest. Just being so smart, waiting behind that battle for so long, the, just pulling the trigger and just basically sailing off into the into the sunset, uh, uh, as they say. I agree, but I also want to see how this battle for third finish. Oh, Wookie! Okay. I was just he about to say the wall. The last corner, he just got and, caught. And Wookie's got a three-second penalty. But this, oh, like Scott, he doesn't need to do anything now. Just that's it, if, if Wookie gets past him, that's it. I was just about to say, if Wookie manages to take this P3, he's up there for me for driver of the day as well. Yeah, I, I But that three-second penalty is going to yeah. screw him. A cuss of the commentator, though. Scotty looks to be still racing this, and this is absolutely pointless. While he's yeah. doing always risking an incident. Just sit behind, you know, yeah. let him pass, whatever, just yeah, sit absolutely. behind and... There's, There's no only two laps. Them. Yeah, definitely. Actually, I could have been on board with the wrong one there. <laughs> I think it was uh, Wookie battling Scotty. Either way, the battle at this stage is pointless. Then again, Scotty could be only one one warning away from that penalty, so it's hard to know. As uh, E Hell's commented as well. I, I apologies if I've said your name wrong, but. Uh, saying yeah great race I think he was racing against me that's when I was talking about Friday you know just sort of sitting behind and then pushing on the last lap to try and get ahead yeah. um, I knew I had a penalty so obviously if it was E-Hell I was racing he knew that he didn't have to fight me that hard um, I just I did it for my own personal benefit of, of racing someone again it's been a while since I've I've gone wheel to wheel properly uh, but yeah, Scotty, Scotty and Wookie still battling, still side by side. I wonder yeah, if Wookie's just trying to push Scotty into getting a track limit penalty himself. Push him as hard I'll, as he I'll, can. I'll be, I'll be honest, the motor wheel banging is not the way I race personally, but... You know, mate, he's, mate, 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 he's off. Mate, he's got a red fuel light on and he's, he's gone straight on oh, at turn four. Oh, no. That you sh should have had a drink, lad. Should have had a drink. <laughs> At least 17 can t has gone! What? t has lost it out of the final corner. He's... What? What has happened? What? I have absolutely no idea. That's Bark Bandu with the win. <laughs> um, Do you know what? I've gone from think I've gone from being happy about Ferrari to now... What the fuck? Uh, uh, how is that even possible? What the fuck? 
He's not lost it right out of the last corner where his car was. At, what? Has he, has he tried weaving down the straight or something before he's crossed the line and lost it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Simple as that. No idea. What the fuck? That I is, absolutely yeah. dominated the whole race. Everything. And then... Yeah, it's... Yeah. I have no idea. You have no idea. It's a pity we worked on with it, obviously. Whew. Yeah. So, to be fair, Wookie did end up on the podium. Uh, I, I, I'm lost for words, mate. I'm lost for words. <laughs> um, who do we need to avoid? I, 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 don't, I don't even know. I don't even know now. Yeah, I presume Scott is in this chat. I think he, yeah, he is. Uh, so will be back. Uh, Wookie is just the last one. Can we get him in? Where is he? Back, Scotty, and Wookie. Your podium sitters. Uh, a bit of a strange one, to be honest. T-Bag, obviously, you know, around seven, eight seconds ahead. And somehow lost it out of the final corner on the last lap. Um, so, Bark taking the win. Scotty oh, and Wookie, uh, you know, a, a pretty much a 15-lap battle, side by side, all the way, swapping and changing positions fighting all the way through but both getting on the podium which I think is very well deserved for both of them uh, yeah yeah a bit of a strange one bit of a strange end if I'm honest yeah definitely <laughs> back in one second while you're waiting Do we have people? Uh, Wookie's joined. Scotty said he needs an invite. Are you on that or will I grab it? I'm just in the middle of it now, bud. Oh, I think. I suppose, look, you can, you can get Scotty in. Bark, uh, another race win. Twan Poonango, we had a race win. Or, uh, no, apologies. We start with Petrie. <laughs> Ignore everything I said. Start with Wookie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave Clay Doon as well because he talks better than me. It basically means I'm English. You can understand me. Uh... <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, br <laughs> Absolutely brilliant drive there, Wookie. Seeing your battle, like I say, about 15 laps, you were side-by-side -side swapping position with Scotty. Um, how was that being behind the wheel? Yeah. 
Yeah, so a lot. A couple of uh, scary moments, I'd say. You know, it looked like a wheel bang might turn into a bit more, but you both did well. You know, a lot of respect between the two of you, though. Um, fought very hard. How did you feel when that three second time penalty popped up? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, I don't know what what happened to Teabag, but you've ended up taking a podium from it. I'm I'm sure you'll be happy with that. Absolutely brilliant drive, mate. Yeah, brilliant. Like I said, brilliant drive yourself, mate. Um, good strategy call as well. Seeing you battle battle Scotty there for that that podium position as well were brilliant. The, 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 uh, just one thing to I just wondering where the the, the, the thought process is at. Like, it, you, and this 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 question is to both Wookie and Scotty. Like. If that was me with, with four or five laps left, I'm sitting behind just using DRS to recharge my battery. You're both on 10%. Once it goes under 20, you lose straight line speed. I just didn't... I, I like Whilst I, I understand the battle, you know, forward, backwards, and, and it was great to watch. If that's me, I'm sitting behind DRS, recharge my battery and make a move on the last maybe maybe not the last map, lap but like second last lap last lap were you just so engrossed in the battle that everything went out the window or where was the top process yeah Yeah, yeah, he didn't really have much of a choice at that point, but yeah, good drive, bud. Anyway, I'd, I'd, sorry, a bit the bearer of bad news. I've just seen the comments saying now that they can't hear him. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently, there's comments on chat saying they can't hear you. Uh, but we'll, if you want to have a look, see if you know you you can show your audio settings or anything like that. If there's anything you can change, but we'll we'll just jump across to Scotty. It's that same thing again, mate. Uh, you know, such a long battle side by side. How do you feel about it? How, how, how were the race for you? Um, the race went out the window. The last fifteen laps, it was just me and Wookie. Um, so basically half the race. Yeah, literally <laughs> half the race went out, <laughs> went out the window. Um, the moment Wookie caught up to me, it, it was like, okay, race is on. Um, I know Hound was, at the start of the battle, was in a mix-up. Um, once we got uh, past Hound, I knew my tyres wasn't going to last long. Um, I think it was like probably lap 22. I started getting a massive kick-off over the stairs. Um, but it was just it was just that case as long as i can stay behind with the drs i mean going to what you're saying about sitting back the the, the problem with that is through after the second drs straight it's well third drs straight it's a case of he was still behind me he we were side by side every corner so that drs battle i don't know i just felt like if i sit behind him one mistake could could cost it all um i didn't even realize he had a three second penalties until um the end of the race which probably would have <laughs> took a lot of nerf off me um, well we, we we made that comment as soon as we saw that three second penalty we thought all oh, right scotty will just sit behind him now take it easy and then you're still side by side battling him yeah I, like i said i was just focused it was just make, making sure that there was enough room for me on the outside him on the inside um there was wall banks but Again, it was like there was a lot of respect in that race. Um, funny enough, going into this race, obviously there was a little bit of history between me and Wookie, but yeah, I think that's all dust and settle now, all on track. Um, no love loss. If anything, I probably actually respect. Well, I mean, this is the first time talking to him, so this is um, 
definitely a start for hopefully what could be a good rivalry between me and him going into the season. Love us. That's yeah. nice to hear. I mean, you can hear it. Yeah, I can hear No, you're still still silent on the stream. Uh, are you on PS4 or 5? Uh, press your PS button. Go to... Comms party chat. And it should say, go into voice chat setting. And it should come up to, like, share your voice. But yeah, just back to that comment, Scotty, about... Um, Staying behind and making a mistake, and it's just there's so many eight, whatever it is, lap. It's it's a pretty short lap with three DRS zones. Yeah, but I, I, I felt the way you were driving, you you had enough to stay behind. Like this, yeah. this isn't a criticism. I'm just kind of thinking. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's 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 easy for me to say when I'm watching, and it's different when you're driving, but. I just felt it, like do do I I'm not even sure do guys realise once you go under twenty percent DRS that you're compromised so much with speed. Yeah, um, it goes back to it when I saw when the bookie overtook me, I saw his uh, DRS like flashing. I was kind of like, okay, cool, he's in the same boat as me. So it's just, yeah, in a way, it was kind of mirror what he's doing yeah, because it was yeah. every lap. I think one of us was ahead every different every single lap. Second question. Were the mediums screaming at you towards the end oh, of the yeah. first end? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, there we go. Sorry. Um, the mediums. Uh, that's that's why I went for the undercut. I went for an undercut and actually paid off um, because I couldn't. Um, I was thinking of going to a strategy I went on on Friday, which was medium, medium, soft. Um, but there was no safety car, which would have put that to uh, that idea would have um, probably made it a lot worse for me trying to catch up. Sorry, I've just the button. I've uh, changed it now, so a guy should be able to hear me. Yeah, I can hear you on stream, mate. Now. Yeah, wicked. So we'll. Uh, it, sorry, it made you wait back, but we'll we'll <laughs> we'll jump back <laughs> to uh, back to Wookie. As we said, mate, you you know, pretty much half the race side by side with Scotty swapping and changing positions. Um. Yeah, how, how was it from your point of view? Yeah, ab absolutely epic. Nothing but respect for Scotty for keeping his head in the game and just being so respectful. I mean, as soon as I got that three-second penalty, it kind of threw me off a little bit, but I was just so focused on having a good clean battle with Scotty. I def definitely looked that way from our end. Um, when, when that three-second pen penalty popped up so late, did that that, that ruin your hopes a little bit, or? I mean, we were we were chopping and changing on that on that deal on the first DRS straight. I mean, I knew that because every lap since then, that's where we were pretty much catching each other out. And then the turn three, there was a couple of bits of wheel banging, but um, yeah, like I said, very respectful to each other. And the three second kind of threw me off a little bit. I mean, I tried saving my ERS as much as possible, but then, like I said, as soon as I got that three second penalty. I just wanted to stay with Scotty as much as possible, really. Yeah, well, uh, from our, from our point of view, it looks uh, absolutely brilliant racing, to be honest. Um, obviously, you you know, T Bag was was well out of the out of the way in the lead. It looked like you just missed out on that podium, and then yeah, whatever's happened to him on the the, the final corner, he's he's crashed out and uh yeah you, you you took a podium i've got to say well deserved to be honest you you know you battled hard all race no but i appreciate that thank you so much mate as for teabag it's unfortunate for him because he drove a phenomenal race started on pole and then it was just unfortunate he loses it on the last lap yeah yeah it's... yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah. I, I'm part of the Ferrari team, so yeah, yeah. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm very disappointed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no fools of Ferrari tonight. <laughs> no, that's it. I've done. I, I, did, I think I probably did too much for the Ferrari. That's that's the problem. But, yeah, no, uh, nothing but respect for Scotty. Like like he said, um, hopefully this is the start of a healthy rivalry going into the season. I mean, I couldn't have hoped for a better way to start the season, to be honest. So yeah. 
Uh, yeah, like I said, brilliant result, mate. Well done. Um, and I know you've been sat there waiting patiently back. You took the race win there out, uh, out of nowhere. How did you feel after that? Yeah, that was a surprise. I wasn't expecting the victory here. I was, I was taking care that I, I would be in the second position. And it seems that no one knows what happened to D-back, so it's a, it's the same as said. Uh, he was driving very, very well. And it seemed that it's really sure that he will win. And also, also congrats to Scotty and Wookie for the podium. So good battle between you two as well. But yeah, wasn't expecting the one here. <laughs> but you you did good when you when you were in that battle for for P two. Uh, you know there was a time where you were behind Scotty, Wookie, and Hound. Um, you had a lot of ERS at that point. Were you just being sensible, just biding your time a bit? Yeah, uh, actually, I was. I was uh, pushing pushing as hard as I could when I saw that the Scotty was uh, pitting in, uh, and at that time, I was taking care that this time Scotty will not be in front of me when <laughs> when he's uh, when I'm coming out from the pit. But I don't know how he's doing that. Some some superb superb pitting strategy. But once again, he was a few seconds ahead of me, so that was that was a bit of a surprise. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe one McLaren was coming coming into the pit and I couldn't get out of the box as immediately so but uh, yeah I was saving the ERS and then trying to push as as hard as I can to get rid of rid of Scotty and Wookie and actually that was helping me uh, thanks to Jackie that he was coming from from like a last car in front of me and giving giving the toe as well so yeah I did notice that you you picked up the ERS off off the lap car um and that, that sort of helped you bridge that DRS gap then to Scotty, which it pretty much se secured you what looked at the time as to be P2, but, you know, it's eventually ended up as the race win. Yeah, yeah. Have you anything you'd, you'd like to add, Dan? No. <laughs> <laughs> I have a job. I can just now declare to everyone that Bark is my favourite Finn in Tier 3 because Ken already isn't there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure for me. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no, that was, uh, it, was, it was good. I, I, like, I, I think I said it on stream a few times. You just sat behind, leaving a battle, build up your ERS, next thing, bang, go, you're gone. They're, they're battling behind and all of a sudden you're in a good place and a fortunate uh, fortunate or unfortunate race win, depending on which way you're looking at it. But a win's a win. Uh, so yeah, well done, good stuff. Um, expect to see you at the business end of the season if you can avoid people hitting the back of you. Yeah, oh, that's what I was gonna say. This this is a big one because turn three, turn well, turn one, three, and four are heavy braking zones, and no one hit the back of back. Yeah. That's a positive for the season, that. <laughs> Not a bad way to start. <laughs> and actually, we did an agreement with Kane. Now that I got the Alpine, I also got the pace from him and also also the tyre management. <laughs> so you're no. going to be running the same tyres all season, like yes. Kane does? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I cannot have the same pace and same tyre management for sure. Kane is super in that one. <laughs> Well, you, you you did him uh, you did him proud today, mate. You, you had a brilliant drive in that car, so well done. Uh, congratulations on the race win. Thanks, mate. Uh, congratulations to to all our podium sitters there, Bark, Wookie, uh, Bark, Scotty, Wookie. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having a chat. Uh, join us next week. Where are we, Dan? Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Hit me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fold right now. <laughs> oh, oh join us, join us Friday night, eight thirty, <laughs> tier one and two. Uh, here again, Sunday as always, eight o'clock for tier three at Las Vegas. Thank you all. See you next week. <laughs>